Hi, it's Katrina. From defying gravity to being completely undetectable, here are nine fighter jets you won't believe exist. Number 9. Chengdu J-20 China, for all its greatness, hasn't always made the best aircraft, but in 2011, they unveiled the J-20. Many consider this to be the first jet fighter from China that matches up to what Russia, the United States, and others can do, and for good reason. This may not look like a typical jet fighter, but don't let that fool you. This is the first fifth-generation jet from China, which in this business is a big deal. Fifth generation means it has stealth technology, supersonic cruising speed, and highly integrated avionics. The people at the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation made sure it was durable and it is built to survive and fly in all kinds of weather, which for fighter jets is a huge advantage. Of course, we're not sure just how far the technology goes, but it does have one problem. The engine is weak, and they have had problems purchasing engines from the Russians, who would rather sell them the entire Su-35 fighters, not just the engine. So China is purchasing the Russian Su-35 Flanker E fighters, probably to harvest the engine technology, radar, and electronic warfare capabilities to add it to this plane. The interesting part, or the scary part, depending on how you look at things, is that there's still much about the aircraft that the world doesn't know about, which means it could be even more impressive than it looks. It is set to start flying as early as this year, 2018. Number 8. Lockheed Martin F-35 The Lockheed Martin F-35 was built as the cheaper yet still fully functional replacement to the F-22 Raptor. For a replacement, it truly lives up to the hype. The F-35 is one of the deadliest fighter jets on the planet. This is a multi-purpose fighter jet and one that serves not just the Air Force but the Marines who started using the F-35B in 2015. The F-35 is capable of doing air support missions, defensive missions, and precision bomb strikes, which are all vital tasks to numerous armed forces. Now, while it was built to replace the F-22, the military believes that this fighter can replace even more aircraft, such as the AV-8B, A-10, F-16, and F-A-18, which goes to show how much faith the military has in its capabilities. It is slightly smaller than the F-22 and uses stealth technology which makes it harder to detect. It has only one engine and can be made with different variants. Depending on the variant, the F-35 can range in cost from $88 million to $122 million per plane. These planes are also getting some collision avoidance technology which will help them avoid ground collisions. Not only are these planes the deadliest, but also the safest. And now for number 7. But first, did you know that you can buy your own fighter jet? Stay tuned for more info. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to join the notification squad. We'd love to have you! Number 7. The F-15 Eagle You'd think that after 30 years of service that a plane like the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle would eventually be taken out of the lineup. But instead, the F-15 Eagle has proven time and time again that this craft is something to behold, and it deserves our respect. This is an air superiority fighter that can fly in all kinds of weather. It can penetrate the defenses of enemy bases and has had over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat. It has been exported to Israel, Japan, and Saudi Arabia. One of the reasons for this was its special electronics, which it could use to track and lock onto enemy fighters even when in enemy territory where these signals usually get scrambled. Between that and its high speeds, high maneuverability, and ability to carry many missiles, the United States Air Force intends to keep the F-15 Eagle around until at least 2025. The F-15E Strike Eagle variant costs about $31 million. Number 6. The Sukhoi Su-57 Russia has often been known for their masterful jet fighters, with their MIGs being both legendary and feared. But when it comes to modern fighters, they're pinning their hopes on the Sukhoi Su-57. Like a lot of jet fighters, this one was built from the ground up in order to replace some aging models, including the MIG-20 and the Su-27, which they're selling to China. Though much of it is still under wraps, many feel that the Sukhoi Su-57 is meant to be the answer to what the United States did with the F-22 Raptor. In fact, production of the Sukhoi Su-57 started back in 2001, with the first observed test flight happening in 2010. Earlier this year, a couple of pre-production versions of the Su-57 were sent to Syria, and it's believed that by 2019, Russia will have up to 200 of these jet fighters in their Air Force ranks. 
Some of the information we do know about it is that it's not solely an air superiority craft. It can also make ground strikes, which makes it yet another multi-role plane. Formerly known as the T-50, it was supposed to be a collaboration with India, but they pulled out. It's not very stealthy and doesn't have great design features. However, it does have something the F-22 doesn't have, side-facing radars below the cockpit. Though not confirmed, the Sukhoi Su-57 is said to have all sorts of missiles and guided bomb capabilities, to the extent that it could possibly carry up to 16,000 pounds of missiles and bombs. Number 5. The Eurofighter Typhoon Even back in 1986, there was a desire to make jet fighters who could go beyond the visual range of combat as well as do what needed to be done in battle, and so the Eurofighter Typhoon was born. This jet was actually the result of a group of countries that comprised the Eurofighter Consortium, which consisted of Germany, Italy, the UK, and Spain. The idea was to pool resources and ideas together so they could create a jet fighter that was multi-purpose, could do battle in the air, on the ground, and in all climates. The Eurofighter Typhoon is outfitted with some of the best European missiles the countries have to offer, as well as advanced avionics to ensure it has full awareness of its surroundings. Though admittedly not as good as jets like the F-22 Raptor, it does stand on its own and is superior to other jet fighters. Many feel this will be the cornerstone of new jets for the consortium as time goes on. The Eurofighter website states the Typhoon is the world's most advanced swing-roll combat aircraft and has been combat-proven in Libya, Iraq, and Syria. Number 4. Sukhoi Su-35 the Sukhoi Su-35 is another Russian jet built based off of the Su-25 model. Don't let its paint job fool you. This is a key part of the current Russian Air Force and has been in use by the country since 2012. The Sukhoi Su-35 was built to be an air superiority fighter, one that can match many other jets from other countries, but it does have the capability to perform ground strikes when necessary, which it can do with the nearly 17,000 pounds of ordnance it can carry. It also has 12 hardpoints on its wings that can be used to hold onto various missiles, making it a true threat in the air or on the ground. Moving on to the engines, the Sukhoi Su-35 has the ability to reach hypersonic speeds without the need for an afterburner. It can also supercruise through the air without much issue. And because of how well the thrust and vectoring of the engines are, the Su-35 is very maneuverable. Others have shown interest in purchasing this Russian-made fighter, but it hasn't really yet been able to show off its full potential against powerful enemy aircraft. Plus, they're expensive. If you want to import it, it could cost anywhere between 60 to 90 million dollars a piece. Number 3. The MIG-31 The MIG's series of jet fighters are by and large the most recognizable jets that Russia has ever used, and their prowess in the Korean and Vietnam Wars have made them a staple of air warfare. With the Mikoyan MIG-31BM, we have the latest model of this esteemed line, but it also proves that jet design has come a long way since. The MIG-31BM was a massive upgrade to the standard MIG-31, and once the results showed, all of those original aircraft were turned into the MIG-31BM. Why? The older models were still sturdy, but they were starting to lag behind in features and abilities. The MIG-31BM got the ability to do ground attacks as well as long-range interception and precision strike and defense suppression missions. As of 2017, 117 of these jet fighters were made and put into service, but that's still only half of the story. The problem is that their age is starting to show. They can get up into the air very well, but they don't have as much maneuverability as other jets. That being said, the upgrades are believed to allow them 15 more years of service, which could give Russia all the time they need to refine and rebuild their air force with newer and better equipped models. Uh-oh. But don't think this aircraft is weak. It's still dubbed the Flying Radar by its pilots, and it carries the first distinction of being the first aircraft with both a phased array antenna and passive electronically scanned array radar. They can spot 24 objects and track 8 of them at the same time. It is considered an interceptor aircraft which goes very fast and can destroy invading planes. Number 2. F-22 Raptor In the USA, the F-22 Raptor is still widely considered one of the best fighter jets ever made. Created by Lockheed Martin, the F-22 Raptor is a fighter jet that is nearly invisible to all radar systems, which makes it incredibly valuable for both recon and precision strikes. 
It was built for true superiority, which means it has the range, maneuverability, and the weaponry to take to the skies and take out all opposition. Its vast array of missiles also helps. Plus, the engines on the F-22 were so powerful, they could get the jet soaring up to 1,500 miles per hour, and it was so efficient it could span a range of 1,600 nautical miles. The craft was first produced in 1997 and was introduced to the United States Air Force in 2005, where it later became one of their key planes. The Air Force has raved about this plane for years and hail it as unmatched by most other jet fighters. They aren't used very often because they were made to go up against an enemy with sophisticated weaponry, but pilots recently came forward claiming that the plane has a mysterious flaw that makes them disoriented because of a lack of oxygen. The F-22 is still considered the jewel of the Air Force and is the fastest, stealthiest, gravity-defying combat plane in the sky. They have never been exported to other countries, not even NATO allies. There are cheaper and effective models like the F-35, so production on the F-22 was stopped by the Bush and Obama administration. However, some of them are still used by the United States Air Force, and their technology that made them so special is still classified. The F-22 is still considered the best fighter aircraft ever built. Number 1. The GR-5 Harrier Jump Jet while all of these jets are incredible feats of engineering and power, did you know that there are many of these jets that you can actually buy? And one of the most unbelievable ones that you can get is the GR5 Harrier Jump Jet. This jet can get up to 731 miles per hour. And not just that, this isn't some defunct plane that someone decided not to use. The GR5 Harrier Jump Jet is actually a plane in use by six different countries. The Harrier Jump Jet combines the speed of a jet with vertical lift of a helicopter. This British plane is also flown by the U.S. Marine Corps. One of these planes from 1976 sold at auction for almost $180,000. Before you consider buying a fighter jet, keep in mind that the weapon systems are always dismantled and they usually can't fly. But with some work and a big investment, they could take to the skies again. You can buy any demilitarized fighter jet that you want. They are actually sent for scrap, so they are usually not in flying condition. They are expensive and not the safest things in the world, but hey, if it's your passion, you can do it. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these jets? Would you ever want to own one yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!